Greetings and salutations, this is Sudaku with State of Machinations, and I was unable to find out anything about Connor's death. So... Shit. What's what? happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Okay... A worthy cup. Wait. Oh, it must be for doing like. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Killed the criminals with hair assassinations. Okay. I can't help but notice my hair is a little bit grayer. You've seen, right? Comedian too. Help! Help! Kill the criminals threatening Franklin. This shall not stand. This man helped build this great country. So I'm gonna stuff my knife in your face. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Yeah. Where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Criminals will attack in Blah. Well, shit. This isn't gonna end well for me. No, run, 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 run! Not up there, you fuck! Die! music. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. different attire that is very different and I don't see a Templar insignia anywhere on the thing could bode well alright so I've got 50 seconds to not fuck this up See if I can uh, not fuck this up. Yeah. 
Hmm. I managed How? to not fuck that up. How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin. As I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the Royal Palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Okay... So who's my business associate? That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. So I'm getting I'm betting my contact in Paris is either gonna be the leader of the assassins or the leader of the Templars. Shay Cormac. I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the Assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating Precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but... a tree. These temples hold the Earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Lubeburg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Huh. <laughs> Your own son kills you later. Makes me giggle on the inside. Gist, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Sir. Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider yeah. him an ally. But watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Far off. Looks like it's pretty straight shot. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war, Order to this damn continent. Sir, I couldn't I hear you for the sound of a whale crashing next to my fucking ship. Anyone care for a swift? I'm sure the ice makes these waters most bracing. How can anything survive in these cold waters? Well, you, you don't want to go swimming? There she is. The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. 
She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. And so it begins. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real... Uh, Firepower. Ah, oh, I believe I shall, Captain. Shall I? <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Holy shit. This ship is enormous. Follow your British allies. Then I shall. Uh, Wolf, Lawrence, and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself. Back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Uh-huh. I mean, you wouldn't want to become a blind puppet, like exactly what you left the assassins to stop being? At least by your own admission? So, uh, since a little bit of inconsistency here. Oh, I know what this reminds me of. One of the final seabound missions in 3. Enemy ahead! They're hit! Damn it! We cannot let any through! It is imperative we stop the ship. down the expert of credit and put a lot of money into it. Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto credit. At the water. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Oh, I just attacked my own fucking ship, dude. We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! She sunk! More fire ships! Another wave of fire! 
I love having infinite borders. I love having infinite borders. I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. We're right Both in their path! Most advantageous we have to sink right now. that fire ship or get out of their way! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship yeah, or get out of their way! More enemy ships, sir! And more fire ships! This is hopeless. Perhaps not wiser to go back. But no. Foreign wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Captain, look! Mortar! Fire! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! On your Keep mark. out of that heavy shot range! Never put me at the helm of a man of war. Things will either go terribly for us or amazingly. There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. I hope not. I don't want to dance with him. Damn it. Just leave Ada alone. He's one of my favorite assassins, and he uses a machete. I don't want to get my ass beat by a machete. Oh my Mr. God. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. War dropped too, so the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Guest, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shane, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Guest. Nice. Definitely another time, yes. Tavern. Unlock taverns by beating up thugs. Okay. Hmm. One fine summer's morning, both gallant and gay. Who's this when the ladies went out on the king? Oh, you'll get your rations, matey. And a of soldiers, it did pass them by. You've got less business here than Philip the Spaniel. Yeah. He went to his comrade and to him did say, When the <sighs> ladies I saw yesterday, <sighs> oh, but one of them. I'm gonna beat your ass. Oh, oh, hi, hi, what? And you're down. Imagine that. A bunch of thugs couldn't beat up a trained assassin. You went up to her and he said, 
Pardon me, lady, for making so free. Oh, me fine honored lady, you have me heart won. And if you deny me, then surely I'm done. A naval convoy. Lovely. I don't particularly got time for that. I haven't really explored the inside of my house yet. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to Fort Arsenal. Hopefully it'll be an interesting place at least. I've only ever seen the inside of it in cutscene form. Can you even explore the inside? I'd hope you could. Have like a little gallery of stuff like you did in the old games. Like, yeah, this is all my armor and all my weapons. Okay. Well, that's my fleet. I don't really care. Hmm. What have we here? Well, perhaps we should take a nap then. This isn't GTA. This isn't GTA. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.